everybody. So I'm downloading some files right now. And uh, we got Gene Wong here. Let me, he just popped in through instant message there. And he asked a question. My flower pot coral is not doing too well. What can I do? Well, flower pot corals are very difficult. Um, flower pot corals are gorgeous. They look like a rock. They are a rock. Looks like you took a drill and drilled a whole bunch of drill bit holes in it. I can't even think. Drill bit holes. Drill bit holes! Holes. And um, it looks like swaying tentacles. It's, it's gorgeous. I had one and it was awesome. And the LFS that I went to, that's local fish store for those of you who don't know. I always hate that uh, term. Local fish store. It sounds like where you go buy fish to grill up. The local fish store should be the local reef shop. That's what I'm going to call it. There you go. The LRS. Well, these corals are incredibly hard to keep. All right. And they're generally found deeper in the ocean. Um, not too deep. You like 20, 30 feet, 50 feet. And they like moderate flow, indirect flow, which means don't have your power head blasting them. Have it blast the glass and the current bounces off the glass. That's indirect flow. Use a little geometry on that. That's what they like. Moderate flow, indirect, moderate flow. You can feed them. I use the Ganeo Power, Ganeo Powder, whatever. I did a video on that before. So make sure salinity is at least 1.024. Indirect, low or moderate flow. It depends on the coral. And um, not bright light, just kind of like moderate light, you know? on the sand bed and they'll sh they'll be fine however they're still incredibly difficult to take care of when i went to the lrs local reef shop the guy's like oh yeah you know to take care of you know no problem yeah wrong they're incredibly difficult to take care of and in fact there was a movement where a lot of people a lot of people wanted to have them banned and a lot of people think corals should be banned in general along with fish because it's mean to keep them in a box when they should be in the ocean. I get it and I feel that way too kind of. But um, I figured as long as someone's going to capture them, I'll buy them and give them a good home. Okay. Gene says, uh, the shop person told me they're easy to keep. Now he's had it for a couple weeks. It was open for maybe two days, I think he said, and then it was closed. Now, most people can keep these flower pot corals for a month or two, and after that, good luck, they're gonna die. I kept mine close to nine months. Now, um, so Gene says, the shop person told me they're easy. I said, they lied. He said, yeah, they're really hard to keep. I said, yep, they really lied. He goes, yeah. No, he goes, I think she has no idea. Well, there's a woman. There you go. There's the answer. So I said, the longer I'm in this hobby, the more I see the lies. Unfortunately, you were lied to. Or they didn't know. Now, you know that the shop person, the woman, didn't know. And she's like, oh yeah, it'll be fine. Yeah, yeah it's fine. It's not fine. So again, how could how could you say that it's going to be fine when it's a fact that it's not? Well, it was a woman, so she didn't know. And Jean agrees, and we both laughed at it, about it. <laughs> Just like that. He says he's going to try putting a bit more iodine to see if the flower pot will open or not. Could work. Please subscribe. You know, every Saturday I do a new show on saltwater aquarium care by showing you guys things. Uh, on the newcomers to the hobby, welcome. Welcome to the channel. We've got cool, cool people on this channel, Rotter Too Brief, every Saturday in the morning. And then on Sundays in the morning, I do a uh, 
video talk show with Scott from Mile High Reefers called Reef Talk, where we have a guest on, different guests talking about their setups and their aquariums. It's so cool. It's so much fun. If you want to be on Reef Talk, get a hold of us, drop us an instant message through this YouTube channel, and uh, all you need is uh, to have a good attitude, have a webcam, and uh, we do it through Skype. Okay. Uh, what else? Yeah, don't forget to purchase my book. It's available on Amazon. Here's an image of it now. It's digital download. It's only $2.99, and it's like 35 pages. It teaches you how to kill ick, the marine velvet parasite, once and for all. It's really thorough. I wrote it really in a nice, simplified way, but there's a lot of details in it. Okay, so it won't be confusing. It's really laid out well. Um, so check that out. Thanks for your support. We have t-shirts coming soon. A lot of you guys have asked. And uh, that's it. Take care. Subscribe. Like it and share it out. And I'll see you next Saturday. Oh, by the way, the woman thing. Please, if you think I'm kidding, think again. Please, come on. Everyone's created equal. Unless you're a woman. Just kidding, God. Just kidding, God.